subscribe tag tv youtube channel and press the notification button good evening welcome to south asia news line i'm yeshi chanzo Here are the top stories we are tracking for you. PM Modi says India keen to strengthen energy cooperation with Russia. Patients overwhelmed South Pakistan hospital following floods that toll climb past 1340. And no kerosene, no food. Fishermen struggle for livelihoods in crisis hit Sri Lanka. And now for all the details. India is keen to boost cooperation with Russia particularly in the areas of energy and coking coal. Prime Minister Narendra Modi said on Wednesday. Speaking virtually at the 7th Eastern Economic Forum being held in the Russian city of Vladivostok, PM Modi also called for a diplomatic and peaceful solution to the Ukraine crisis. The Prime Minister's unequivocal call to continue and strengthen economic ties with Moscow comes amidst continuing efforts by the United States and the European Union to wean India away from Russian oil amid the Russia-Ukraine war. Despite mounting sanctions on Moscow, India has maintained its decision on purchasing oil from Russia continues to be guided by its energy security requirements. Bharat आर्कटिक विषयों पर रूस के साथ अपनी भागीदारी को मजबूत करने के लिए इच्छुक है ऊर्जा के क्षेत्र में भी सहयोग की अपार संभावनाएं हैं ऊर्जा के साथ साथ भारत में फार्मा और डायमंड्स के क्षेत्रों में भी रशियन फारिस के महत्वपूर्ण निवेश किए हैं फ्लड वॉटर्स रिसीडेड ऑन वेंसडे इन इंडिया टेक्नोलॉजी हब ऑफ बेंगलुरु अलाउिंग नॉर्मल लाइफ टू रिज्यूम इन पार्ट ऑफ द सिटी आफ्टर टू डेज ऑफ इनसेस इन रेन ब्रॉड के ऑस एंड किल्ड एटलीस्ट वन पर्सन इवन एस वॉटर रिसीडेड इन पार्ट ऑफ द सिटी रेसिडेंट सेट दे वर डिप्राइव ऑफ एसेंशियल्स Locals in India's technology hub of Bengaluru said on Wednesday they were deprived of essentials even as water receded in parts of the city after two days of incessant rain brought chaos. Water and electricity supply were not restored in some parts of the city, causing problems to the residents who were struggling to arrange essential items amid water logging. India's Silicon Valley is facing an unusually wet monsoon, which has brought 162 percent more rainfall. than average since june 1 it is horrible we are not getting any groceries any deliverables milk nothing is getting yeah, delivered today's milk was not it's delivered. difficult it's difficult day to day life whatever we need we are not getting schools are shut down again we are back to online this is like man made situation the government of karnataka state of which bengaluru is the capital has announced about 3 billion rupees that is 38 million us dollars to help pay for the damage from the flooding in a city in which several global companies and domestic startups are based while the worst appears to be over more rain was expected over bengaluru through to the end of the week the weather department said environmentalists have blamed the flooding on poor urban planning as the fast growing city has expanded over the years and on climate change which has also been blamed for disastrous floods in neighboring pakistan the news from pakistan people across pakistan sindh province are facing food shortages and disease outbreaks amid unprecedented flooding that has affected over 33 million staff at a local hospital in dadu city in hardest hit sindh province said they have received more than 72000 patients in recent days mostly suffering from diarrhea and gastric illnesses Hundreds of patients overwhelmed a local hospital in Pakistan's southern province on Tuesday as the country continues to grapple with debilitating floods 
caused by heavy rains. According to staff at the civil hospital in Dadu city, they have received over 72,000 patients in recent days, mostly suffering from diarrhea and gastric illness from surrounding flood-affected areas. Doctors said they have also seen an uptick in malaria cases. Dozens of patients, mainly women and children, could be seen occupying what little hospital beds remained available at the hospital. आज बारिशों की वजह से हमारे यहाँ दादु डिस्ट्रिक्ट में गेस्ट्रो में और डायरिया में और मलेरिया में काफी केसेस ज्यादा हुए हैं तकरीबन डेढ़ सौ से ज्यादा डायरिया के केसेस डेली हमें इधर एडमिट करते हैं और तकरीबन पाँच से दस ये मलेरिया के केसेस भी हम रोजाना दाखिल करते हैं जो ये पानी जमा होने की वजह से मलेरिया हुआ है और पानी जमा होने की वजह से ये सफाई ना हुए उसमें डायरिया में काफी हद तक इजाफा हुआ है Meanwhile thousands of flood victims affected by the overflowing Indus River on the outskirts of Hyderabad city in hardest hit Sindh province took refuge in the makeshift hut on a dry patch of land on Tuesday the disastrous flooding blamed on climate change has affected 33 million people and killed at least 1343 people until now more news from Pakistan Residents in Pakistan's financial capital Karachi city have equated the recent fuel price hike to an act of terrorism by the government amid worsening financial crisis due to the flood situation in the country. Fuel prices have raised from last week of May to meet IMF conditions for a loan program. Residents in Pakistan's financial capital Karachi city have expressed they are fed up of soaring inflation. and the recent fuel price hike amid the flood situation has come as an act of terrorism by the government the pakistan government on september 1 raised prices of petrol by rupees 2.07 per liter and the diesel price by 2.99 rupees fuel prices have been increasing from the last week of may to meet imf conditions for resumption of a loan program Karachi residents said they worry that prices of all essentials are already skyrocketing and they don't see any relief coming soon. ये तो हमारे हुकुमरानों की सीधी सी दहशत कर दी है इनको एहसास करना चाहिए हमारा आवाम का अभी हम सैलाब मुतासरन में से हैं वो सैलाब में अलग से डूबे हुए हैं बारिशों में घर लोगों के गिर गए हैं अलग से इन्होंने पेट्रोल बढ़ा दिया है हम क्या करें हम देख रहे हैं आलमी मंडी में भी बार बार पेट्रोल गिर रहा है मगर डॉलर भी नीचे आ रहा है मगर आवाम आवाम को इसका कुछ भी फ़ायदा नहीं मिल रहा या चाहे नून लीग हो चाहे पीपल्स पार्टी हो चाहे पीटीआई हो मगर आज तक आवाम को किसी ने भी फ़ायदे के बारे में कुछ नहीं सोचा पाकिस्तान से इन्फ्लेशन रेट सर्स टू अ मल्टी डेकेट हाई ऑफ ट्वेंटी इन ऑगस्ट फ्रॉम अयर अर्लियर एंड दी आई एम एफ हैज़ वॉन्ड इट कैन ट्रिगर सोशल प्रोटेस्ट एंड इंस्टेबिलिटी इन दी कैश स्ट्रैप्ड कंट्री Pakistan's 220 million people were already facing rampant inflation before the flooding and the economy is in turmoil with fast depleting foreign reserves and a record fall of the rupee against the dollar. In news from Afghanistan, two Russian embassy staff in Kabul were among six people killed when a suicide bomber detonated explosives in the vicinity of the embassy on Monday. The attack claimed by the Islamic State Following the incident, the Russian embassy has announced it has stopped issuing visas for applicants. Following a suicide bombing attack near the entrance of the Russian embassy in Afghanistan's capital Kabul, the embassy announced on Twitter that it has stopped issuing visas for applicants. Two Russian embassy staff were among six people killed when a suicide bomber detonated explosives in a blast that injured at least 10 others. The reception of citizens in the consular department is temporarily suspended. Further information will be announced about the resumption of the reception, the Russian embassy in Kabul said on Twitter. Afghanistan's acting foreign minister Amir Khan Muttaki held a phone call with his Russian counterpart Sergey Lavrov and assured him of comprehensive investigations of the attack that was claimed by Islamic State militant group on its channel on Telegram. The attack faced strong international reactions. Russia is one of the few countries to have maintained an embassy in Kabul after the Taliban took over the country. More than a year ago, although Moscow does not officially recognize the Taliban's government, they have been in talks with officials over an agreement to supply gasoline and other commodities. Fishing industry in Sri Lanka has been hit hard by dire economic crisis. 
the worst it has faced since independence in 1948. Fuel shortages and runaway inflation mean they are struggling to procure kerosene oil needed to power the boats that provide their livelihood. As the sun rose over Sri Lanka one morning in late August, around a dozen fishermen were laying out their nets on a beach in Mannar, a small island just off the country's northwestern coast, the start of the day's work. But many other fishermen in the community are unable to go to sea at all, crippled by the country's devastating economic crisis indicates. Fuel shortages and runaway inflation mean they are struggling to procure kerosene oil needed to power the boats that provide their livelihood. Due to his age, Sornam, who was already struggling for food before the economic crisis began, no longer goes out to sea, but had come to the Thalwapadu beach to help with collecting and sorting the catch of fishermen who do manage to set out. But the shortage of kerosene has meant that others who usually go out in boats of their own have now taken up similar work. And so where there used to be 15 workers per boat, there are now 40. For months, no kerosene was available at all in Mannar as the country's foreign exchange reserves dried up and it was unable to import crude for its refineries. When supplies resumed just a couple of weeks ago, kerosene prices were nearly four times as high as Sri Lanka began dismantling fuel subsidies. Raja Cruz, the leader of a fishing community based in Thalwapadu, said, Many fishermen had resorted to small-scale work, such as catching crabs near the shore to earn a living. Although the recent distribution of kerosene has provided some relief, Cruz said the increased price has meant tough decisions for fishermen, who also struggle to purchase basic necessities and food items due to the high levels of inflation. Several fishermen who don't have their own boats join others and receive a share of the profit each day. The news from Nepal. Nepali cricket team keeper Sandeep Lamichani has been accused of raping a minor following which the police have initiated probe against him. Kathmandu police registered a case against Lamichani after the complaint was lodged by a 17-year-old minor, Nepal police said in a statement. Lami Chane is currently in the Caribbean to play the Caribbean Premier League. He is yet to give a statement about the serious allegations against him. Lami Chane is a leg spinner and was appointed as Nepal captain, replacing Yanendra Malla in 2021. He formally captained under 19 Nepal cricket team in 2016 during the Asia Cup. Later, he headed the team for Asian Cricket Council World Cup qualifier. Moving on. The celebrations of the Grand Indra Jatra festival in Nepal formally began on Wednesday with the elevation of a sacred wooden pole in Basantpur Darbar Square in Kathmandu Valley. The week-long festival is dedicated to Lord Indra, the god of rain. The week-long Indra Jatra festival formally began in Nepal on Wednesday with the erection of Yashi, a sacred wooden pole symbolizing God of Rain, Lord Indra, in the Basantpur Darbar Square in capital Kathmandu. Hundreds of people gathered to witness the celebrations as army personnel and devotees used ropes to elevate the sacred pole with which Lord Indra is symbolically tied. It is believed that Lord Indra came to the earth in disguised form to collect night flowering jasmine flowers for his mother but was caught and kept bound by the local Neva community. After Lord Indra's identity was disclosed, they took out a procession which has continued till now. Maharaj, 
प्रताप सिंह शाह ने यहाँ प्रथा चलाक हो रहा सब लिंगो पुराने काल में जब से मैं अगर भाई पराप्रव काल देखिए चलिया पराप्रव काल को लिंगो तब को अड़क नारायण में एट ठाम को रूप में उभ्याने गई रज को दिन में यह यो सीट हो ठराइस पीछे इंद्र ध्वजा भैस पीछे आज बड़े विजुगोत रूप में इंद्र जात्रा सुरू भो वेरियस फेमस मस डांसेस फोक ड्रामा एंड चेरी प्रोसेशन आर ऑल्सो ऑर्गनाइज एज पार्ट अफ द एनुअल इवेंट अपार्ट फ्रॉम द काठमांडू वैली कावरे and dolakha districts also celebrate this festival with fervor well that's all we have for you from south asia this evening now our viewers can watch the show on southasianewsline.com you can also visit us on facebook.com/asianewsline and follow us on twitter at asianewsline that's all in tonight's edition we will see you same time tomorrow good night Subscribe Tag TV YouTube channel and press the notification button.